Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. The opening ceremony of the 2016 Olympic Games from Rio. What's up, what crap, and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort, Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza. Let's catch you up with all the news. Phuket police are questioning two men in a hospital who were allegedly involved in a gun attack on a Phuket imam last night. The imam told police that he was driving in Kokeo with his three-year-old son in the back seat shortly after 8 p.m. when the vehicle pulled up alongside and shot at him four times, hitting him once in the abdomen. That's when the Imam allegedly drove his car into the suspect's motorbike before hitting a railing and concrete pole on Soy Kokeo 24. The Imam, who is the head of the Phuket Islamic Committee, is recovering at Bashira Hospital, but was able to give police a statement. Hours later, Talang Hospital staff tipped police off to two motorbike crash victims who were acting suspicious, and police have begun to question whether they were involved. For more on this, visit thephuketnews.com. A list is circulating on social media of 20 government agencies that are being paid by employers of migrant workers so they can look the other way. And now Phuket police are investigating. The list has gone viral on social media and includes names of the agencies, the mobile phone numbers of people involved, and payments collected on the 10th of each month. But the list also includes names of individual officers including Pimu, which means elder pig. Now, police investigators are checking to see whether the list is real, while Governor Chamruen tells residents to file complaints of any potential kickbacks. The news comes just a day after 150 contractors and business operators filed a complaint with officials to stop arresting migrant workers, saying they're just waiting to be issued work permits. And another day and another baby elephant is with police, this time from my cow after undercover officers found a four-year-old pachyderm being used as a tourist attraction in northern Phuket. This time it's four-year-old Nam Wan who was picked up after its towel admitted to not having a permit despite charging local tourists to take a picture with the animal. The elephant which is valued at 1.8 million baht, will be held in quarantine for the next 30 days before a more suitable location is found. This is the second baby elephant seized by Phuket police in a week after six-year-old Nan Chok was picked up at Bang Tao Beach on Monday. And sit tight, Phuket Extra. We'll be right back after this. We have created our heartwarming family style Asian and Western tapas from 2,000 baht net per person at Banyan Tree Phuket. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. This Sunday, August 7th, is the day when Thai nationals around the country finally head to the polls to decide whether to adopt a new Thai constitution. The military government is responding to criticism and warnings from embassies around the world about potential unrest before, during, and after the referendum. Meanwhile, officials are making a big push to get out the vote and trying to inform residents about what's in the draft charter, all the while critics are still being vocal about the potential uncertain future if the charter is not adopted as the new Thai constitution. The military government has recently said they will simply make a new draft charter and stick to the roadmap to democracy with elections planned for next year. A meeting is planned for Tuesday between government officials to see what happens next. And the shoe is now on the other foot as police in Bangkok have a 29-year-old foreign man in custody for allegedly swindling cash from at least 20 taxi drivers. Abdul Aziz from India is being accused of hopping into taxis, telling them to take him to the airport, but then stopping on the way near the red light district of Nana, alleging to buy medicine at a nearby store. That's when Aziz would allegedly tell the cab driver he had no Thai bot, only American dollars, would pull it out and show him, and then ask the cabbie to borrow some cash to buy medicine and promising to come back. The cabbie would then give Aziz 
up to 1,800 baht, one taxi driver said, and then they would never see him again. Aziz, who denies all the charges, was finally picked up earlier this week by police after one of the swindled taxi drivers recognized him, and several cabbies have come forward saying they were victims of his scam. And the stage is finally set. The Rio 2016 Olympics kicks off later today in Brazil as 10,500 athletes from a record 207 nations will compete in 28 different sports across 32 venues in Rio de Janeiro. This is the first year that a refugee team will compete, comprising of athletes from Syria and the Congo and other countries. It's also the first time Kosovo and the South Sudan will compete as independent nations. Golf will be returning after a 112 year absence, while Rugby Sevens will be making its Olympic debut. The USA has the largest Olympic team with 554 athletes, while the youngest athlete is 13 year old Nepalese swimmer Gaurika Singh. The opening ceremony will take place tomorrow at 6 a.m. Phuket time, and the games will run all the way until August 21. Well, that's the news today, but before we go, we want to know, will you be watching the Olympics? If so, which sports are you most interested in? And what are your thoughts on the list alleging kickbacks between government agencies and businesses with migrant workers? Let us know in the comments. Check out Phuket Extra Extra tomorrow for the top five stories of the week. And then check us out on Phuket Extra, which returns on Monday to catch you up with all the news this coming weekend. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. The newest resort on Nyang Beach, Phuket Marriott Resort and Spa, Nyang Beach, is ready to host you brilliantly. Open now. The art of hosting, where modern architecture meets authenticity of Thai hospitality.